Thank you, babe. <laughs> this is cute. I really love the brick. And he already hung his clothes up. He's a mess. Thanks for coming with me, babe. I hope you can get away. What do you think of the um? <laughs> what do you think of the Airbnb? It's real nice. Uh, I think they kept the brick wall for a, a rusty feel. Um, I think it's tight. Hey guys, today is Thursday. It is 10.42 in the morning. I actually ended up taking forever to get ready this morning, but I straightened my hair and did my makeup. You guys will see the clips. My man came with me and we went out to dinner. Um, we ended up going to like a um, Louisiana Creole type spot. And so I am going to finish my leftovers um I already packed my bags and stuff so I'm here in the Airbnb until 12 30 but my flight doesn't leave until like around 6 p.m so I'm just gonna do a little bit of shopping maybe some reading it's a really nice um patio area but it's it's sunny but it's it's not that warm so yeah, I'm just going to chill for a little bit. Thank you. 
Hi. Is it not me? Yep, sure it is. way to end our night it was a busy day but it was a chill day leave me alone <laughs> oh! <laughs> now me being a content creator <laughs> I'm gonna update them what I'm doing I'm gonna wait till Janice is done. She's making me feel bashful. Oh, I'm getting red in the cheeks. I'm so shy. Please. <laughs> this is really the life. Okay, so my footage is pretty spacey because I'm just not used to recording. So I got whacked over the head at my nail appointment i'm not gonna tell y'all how much it is i'm gonna put it on the screen because yeah they did that though like i really love my nails and my toes but damn i wasn't expecting that so i showed you guys like a brief clip of the lavender ingredients for the lavender um, pedicure she did the whole nine honestly so first she you know clipped and shaped my nails and filed them and everything then she did it was like a lavender scrub and did like the pumice stone then she 
actually used the orange slices to wipe all over my legs and stuff and massage my legs. And then it was like a paraffin wax um, and lavender oil and lotion at the end. And then I got silver chrome on my nails and my toes. So it was worth it. I ended up getting a fresh set instead of a feel. But I would never do that again. I would never do that again. <sighs> hey guys, so I wanted to come on here and talk a little bit more about that appointment because they really played with me and they really got me. They got me good, they got me good. So, I think I left from Dallas to come back home literally two or three days after my appointment. And I'll add the picture. I ended up getting three charms on each hand. Literally before it had been five days that I had the set on, I had lost two charms. And I didn't even mind that because, because of the shape, Whenever I would move my hand really quickly, I was scratching myself and like pulling the um, fabric on my couch and my clothes and stuff. So that wasn't even that bad. It's still annoying because they charged me, they charged me something crazy like, and they charged me per charm. So then I get home and I take a bubble bath. Why my whole toenail polish just comes off like just literally slides off so i'm still not upset because i'm like okay i will just buy the stuff to redo it myself and it had came off of like three toes but i really only cared about my big toe so i called lavender so that they can give me a partial refund because girlfriend i'm losing all these charms and i don't even have there's no nail polish to speak of where where'd it go down the drain literally it went down the drain <laughs> so i called them and I'm speaking to the person on the phone I tell them what happened so I'm like can you guys give me a partial refund because you know like it's kind of crazy like I'm gonna have to go pay somebody to get it fixed and they're like oh well we have a no refund policy <sighs> oh yeah they told me we have a no refund policy but if you come back within the next two days Cause they have like a a week you can come back and get it fixed so they said if you come back in the next however many days then we'll just fix it for you and i'm like well yeah that's the problem so i called to get a partial refund because i'm not from the area and they were like so you're not going to be back within the next two days i'm like no i live in ohio so they're like okay hold on let me go talk to my manager When they come back on the phone, I I just don't have it in me to give people a hard time, especially when usually the policies are just out of their control. So they, I could tell that they were like kind of uncomfortable to have to tell me that, to reiterate to me, to repeat to me, just come back within two days and we'll fix it for you. But yeah. I spent almost $300 and they fell apart so yeah forget you guys but um after that I, I wrote them a lukewarm not scathing a little uh what would you call it como se dice critical review <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't even do it well because I was like complimenting them throughout the interview and it was like I'm very angry that I can't get a partial refund but I loved my experience girl that's why they pay me dust because I saw other people complaining and they was arguing with them or stuff 
So I was hoping maybe if I posted a bad review, they would, they would be, but I was too nice, so they didn't care. But yeah, back to the video. So went Janice, what was that area that we went to the thrift store? Lower Greenville. Lower Greenville. Lower Greenville. We went to Lower Greenville and we were going because they have a bunch of thrift stores over there. But thrift stores just aren't thrift storing like they used to. And I'll have to go into that later. But we ended up getting Jimmy's. It came home and like took a nap and chilled. But it's been a good day. My first day was a success. But, uh, my first day was a success. I didn't do a very good job of getting clips of us while we were out shopping. So what I'm gonna do is just show you guys a couple of the stops that we made and what my favorite things about those stores were. So on the screen right now are the areas that we went shopping in. And on our first day out, we went to Lower Greenville. The main reason for this stop is because I wanted to go to some thrift stores. So first we went to Buffalo Exchange and then we went to Second Street. So Buffalo Exchange is gonna be more of the affordable options and probably what you would think of in terms of a thrift store while second street i would say is more of a luxury consignment shop firstly with buffalo exchange and i mentioned earlier that thrift shopping just isn't what it used to be but in buffalo exchange there's a lot of forever 21 fashion nova etc pieces and I kind of feel like if I wanted to buy them, I might as well buy it new. And even though it's supposed to help with fast fashion, I feel like it's just bleeding into what used to be a really good place to find high quality pieces for a cheaper price. And, and that's my main problem because on the other hand, Second Street was more of a lux luxury consignment shop but you're literally only getting like 30 to 40 percent off of the original price tag so I didn't end up finding much but it was nice to look around and see what they had I always like just browsing even if I'm not going to be buying so I, I was feeling definitely a little bit discouraged about thrift shopping but I find that in different areas it varies so much so I'm still gonna give it another try, but I was definitely disappointed for this trip. I would say the best part of our Lower Greenville trip was Jenny's. I always love to get the pineapple upside down cake. And then after this, we were sort of tired. I don't know what we did earlier in the day. I think I got my nails done this same day and Janice still had to work so after this we were like let's just go home and we were lucky enough to beat the traffic going into Dallas so we were like let's get out of here before you know we regret not leaving sooner on Friday we ended up going to Park Place and Bishop Arts because I was going to be catching my flight home the next day so we went to park place because i wanted to buy some shoes and the mall is huge i wish i personally had more energy to walk around and also i know um janice wasn't very comfortable um walking around in large spaces like that so we kind of were in and out i will say i i only want mean chipotle 
<laughs> cashiers from now on because we got Chipotle while we were at the mall. And when I tell you the girl was ignoring me, like Janice was done with her order. She was in ahead of me and I kept asking her something and she was just ignoring me. So we laughed about it. But then when I tell you that was the best Chipotle I ever had. So that's literally all we did. We went to... I forgot what the shoe store was, but the shoe store is everywhere. And then we got food and we headed out to Bishop Arts. So Bishop Arts was definitely my favorite part of the trip outside of our pool day because it's just such a cute area and Janice knew I would love it. So now you can see those clips of us going into those stores. My favorite store was Palindaba Lavender, I think it's called and it's just a store of everything lavender like everything you can think of body oils hair care candles food seasonings everything lavender it was really fun to hear the person working in the store that day talk about the products you can tell she really loved them too so i ended up getting a couple of things from here but it was it was so cute I wanted to find some cowboy boots, but I didn't end up finding any, but this place was just like a cool like secondhand shop too, and I think that one is called Dolly's. This would have been so much more easier to explain with the video clips. I was being so shy and shot myself in the foot, so next time I'm just going to have to record through the embarrassment. So hopefully you guys still enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.